Hi, this is Terry from Bonsai Tree again, and I'm going to be discussing the general purpose bonsai scissors, which will probably be the first tool that you'll buy um, in your, for your toolbox when you start out with bonsai. And uh, as you can see, we've got a number of different options in front of me here, and I'm going to be running through them with you and pointing out some of the things that you need to look for, uh, some of the considerations that you might need to take into account when deciding which one is the right one for you. So on the left, uh, my left, we start off with uh, these three pairs of scissors which are made by ARS. It's a very well-known international Japanese uh, tool manufacturer and um, this first little one is what I would consider to be our entry level uh, or pair of scissors aimed at uh, beginners for bonsai. Uh, it's got a very comfortable uh, plastic type of handle and the blades are stainless steel so you're not going to find them rusting very easily or at all and uh, it's just for all around very comfortable very easy to use uh, obviously, um, ideally aimed at people with trees that have slightly thinner branches. If you get to thicker branches, you're probably going to have to start using a branch cutter or perhaps consider one of these larger pairs of scissors. The next two that I have are very similar to one another. Uh, the differences are that this one has a stainless steel or is using stainless steel material and uh, this one is black carbon steel otherwise they are very much the same you can see there's a clasp that keeps the tools together saving the blade um, from being damaged in your toolbox and they both have a spring loaded action which really just helps to save your hand if you're doing a lot of cuts because it forces the tool open again so you don't need to do that yourself um, and then uh, cushioning the, the closure as well. But as I said, very much the same and um, intended for very much the same purpose because the blades are pretty much the same size, if not the same size. Then we have uh, three handmade Japanese tools made by uh, Kanishin, or that is the brand. And these two are very similar in the in, in many respects but you can see that this one with the bigger ears uh, and also with the heavier metal in this area will enable this tool to be used for cutting thicker branches unlike trimming scissors these scissors are able to cut thicker branchlets but the trade-off with that is that you're not able to really get into the canopy of a tree um, due to the ears preventing the preventing the tool from going into the branch uh, into the canopy of the tree its benefit is that you're able to cut thicker branches uh, you'll also notice the gap between the two uh, parts of the tool also allows or prevents you from from crushing uh, branches or other growth um, when you close and make the cut one of the other differences between the trimming scissors and these general purpose bonsai scissors is the way that you would hold the scissors. So your hand is very much more inserted into the tool and this is really just so that you can exert the most amount of force onto the branch that you're cutting. Um, the trimming scissors is typically held with just the, uh, the fingers, um, so it's far more delicate. This is a much more robust uh, tool and therefore you need to be able to clasp it very securely. And then finally we have this pair of scissors, also made by Kanishin. And this is uh, very popular for uh, working on shohin and mami sized trees. So you're still able to really get a lot of force with, uh, with your fingers because you, the, the ears allow your fingers to clasp the tool very, um, very well. Um, but you still have a fairly long cutting edge. Um, so not only are you able to get into the canopy of the tree quite nicely, um, but it, it, it allows you to, to exert the force to cut th slightly thicker material. So this is very popular for people with smaller trees. I would, I would say that if you are aiming at uh, keeping larger, medium to larger sized trees, then any of these um, four scissors would work very well for you. Otherwise, uh, for younger material or uh, medium to small sized trees, 
Um, these ARS scissors would be perfect and if you're going to be working or if you really enjoy your mommy and showing size trees then these scissors would be perfect for you. When you look at the quality differences between tools, you'll notice that the higher quality or the higher end of scissors, um, on the tips, you will notice that the tips overlap slightly. Some people think that it is a defect in the tool and it shouldn't be that way, but in fact it's actually a product enhancement because it enables you to use the full length of the cutting blade right to the tip. If that tip did not overlap, you wouldn't be able to use it, for instance, in cutting leaves or um, when doing defoliation. Another thing to look out for is this area over here. Um, some scissors are actually, um, uh, they will come together. So the, the two halves of the scissors will make contact and this, was, this will result in you crushing uh, leaves or branches when you're cutting in the canopy of a tree. So that's something else to be aware of. With regards to ensuring that you get many years of use out of the scissors that you purchase, you need to be aware of the areas of the blade or the portions of the blade that you can do particular types of cuts with. If you look at the front part of the blade, that is the section of the blade that you will use for cutting leaves and very, very thin branchlets. The back section of the blade, say the, the last half of the blade, is where you will cut th thinner branchlets. If you find that the tool is resisting quite a bit when you're trying to make the cut, uh, then, the, then don't force it. This might result in damage, damaging the pair of scissors and instead rather use a branch cutter or a larger pair of scissors. If you need to cut a branch with uh, trimming scissors and it's on a slightly thicker side, it's better to cut at a slight angle instead of directly or perpendicularly across the, the, the branch. In this way you can actually cut thicker branches. Many people think that stainless steel is automatically a better material for bonsai tools to be made from. Um, in fact, the opposite is true. Stainless steel has its place and it certainly has its advantages with regards to corrosion resistance. But carbon steels, which is what these three pairs of scissors are made from, are in fact a very good quality of carbon steel. Due to the way that the tools are made, it's easier to keep these tools sharp, they sharpen easier, and they will also keep their edge easier, better and for longer than the stainless steel tools will do so.